I sound like a broken record, but uh, I mean, there is a, this is dangerous here. You do want to take care of yourself. So Absolutely. I've got a few uh, headlines here for you. And as I said before, I sound like a broken record. And I get some people that say, don't tell me what to do. And I get that. These are just suggestions then for you. Drink water about every 15 minutes. Again, you want to make sure you stay hydrated, especially if you're going to be outside for extended periods of time. Because with these higher dew points, your skin, whenever you sweat, it doesn't evaporate as quickly. So your body's not cooling as efficiently. Also, wear a hat and light colored clothing. Uh, take those frequent breaks in the AC or the shade. I'd say the AC is a little bit better than the shade, especially since the winds aren't really blowing too much. And this is a big one. Don't leave children or pets in vehicles. Uh, yeah, let's just not do that. That ends up uh, on the news here, and we don't want to hear about that. And then check in on your elderly friends or family, your neighbors. Make sure their AC is working properly. I know that uh, we had a person next to us where their AC wasn't cooling as efficiently, so you want to make sure that you check in on them. Just be that nice neighbor. Because check out what the heat seas are going to be at. Really, starting on the 4th, we're talking about between 105 to 110 degrees for a very long time, extended period of time here. And this really can go into kind of next weekend as well. We're just talking about the next kind of five to six days here. Uh, and also the UV risk, make sure you wear your sunscreen. You apply that about every 30 to 45 minutes, even if it's water resistant. It's still going to wear off some uh, because today, tomorrow and Monday, uh, our values are up well above 10. That's up in that extreme category. Your burn time is about 10 to 15 minutes, especially the more fair skinned you are. Temperatures outside right now, we're already in the 80s. 70s on out to the west. It's hot, it's muggy. It's going to be a day you want to be out by the pool. And again, make sure you wear your sunscreen. It's still going to have a very slight chance for a pop up thunder shower. Those are going to rain themselves out very, very quickly. And just hot and muggy, more sun by 6 o'clock. Here we go, extended period of time with another heat wave, and it is only, well, July at this point. So today's highs, temperatures will be in the mid to lower 90s here in eastern Oklahoma, upper 90s on out to the west. Of course, the fireworks going on, Claremore, Sepulpa, a lot of other places, temperatures will be down in the 80s by about 9 p.m. Overall, it'll be a pretty nice night for some fireworks. Then overnight tonight, there's still your slight chance for some showers or thunder showers around. Temperatures will be in the mid to lower 70s for your Sunday morning. By Sunday afternoon, Talking about temperatures once again in the mid 90s. Again, a few pop up showers, especially east and southeast of Tulsa. For Sunday afternoon and evening, the fireworks cast Sperry, Wolf Creek, Sand Springs, Grand Lake, and many, many other locations. Temperatures once again near 90 degrees by about 9 o'clock. Mostly clear skies, winds pretty calm overall, so that's not going to be a concern for any of those fireworks. Then Monday, 4th of July, mid 70s once again. And by Monday evening and afternoon, temperatures near that 100 degree mark. Winds may be a little bit breezier, but still hot and muggy outside. He next value is 105 to 110. I imagine we're going to see those heat advisories issued, especially for your Monday. And so uh, the 4th of July forecast, again, 3 o'clock, 100 degrees, heat next 106. Hydrate, wear your sunblock. And then by about 6 o'clock, we're only going to be cooling off maybe a couple of degrees. The mosquitoes are going to be flying around. Make sure you have those citronella candles ready. So as we extend your forecast on out here too, notice we stay near or even slightly above that triple digit mark throughout the rest of your week, potentially into next weekend as well. There's your 7-Day Planner.